standing on the balcony mm -hmm. and there is a valley <coughs> in front with uh, it's green, 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 green mm -hmm. and there are mountains around mostly with green trees also mm -hmm. and I can sense the ocean uh, in front of me also mm -hmm. and it's very it's very calm mm -hmm. it's nice temperature with breeze Do you feel that you have a body in this place? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look down at your feet and tell me, what do your feet look like? Mm. Looks almost that's my own feet. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what this place is. What is this place? It's kind of a house or a building, but inside feels like it's inside a mountain. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's inside of this mountain. Allow yourself to go inside and tell me what you see as you walk in. So it's a kind of a furniture home, mm -hmm. clean, uh, feels like there are furnitures but I cannot see them, mm -hmm. um, the more you talk the more you'll see. Uh, and, and I think when I go through it and um, out on the other side it's kind of a uh, porch mm -hmm. a white floor um, um, it's it's an opening to the right mm -hmm. it's quite narrow it's kind of, yeah it's narrow uh, what is on this opening? Where does it go to? It feels like it's long. I'm walking and walking and mm -hmm. I don't see... Well, there's an opening now. It's it's a garden. Mm -hmm. Describe the garden for me. It's um, apple trees, mm -hmm. a lot of fruit trees, um, and I kind of finding my way now. I don't exactly know where to go, but mm -hmm. um, look around you. There are fields now, fields with uh, I think corn and other greens. Mm -hmm. I can s actually see some people working on the fields. Mm -hmm. What do they dress like? black trous trousers and white church mm -hmm. do they look modern or old times they look more older times mm -hmm. I don't know exactly when but it's not abundant mm -hmm. um, and what do you think this place is I think it's kind of a community <coughs> where people honor the earth, mm -hmm. live together, very friendly, sharing work, sharing food, sharing place, just living in harmony. Mm -hmm. So you as the observer, what do you look like? Hmm. Focus on yourself. It's kind of now it feels like I, I don't have a body. Mm -hmm. 
anymore. It feels like I'm more on energy observing. Uh, am I observing because I like to learn or? Let's find out. Yeah. Let's find out where you actually come from. Oh. So close that scene. And now let's find out where you're actually from. Allow yourself to drift and float through time and space. And be there now. I'm... <clears throat> I'm an observer for source. Mm -hmm. So I'm called to go from place to place and see the difference in in uh, how uh, places are looking and functioning and and uh, I report back to source mm -hmm. what I see and I get instruction from source where to to go next mm -hmm. When you go to these places, do you take on a body, or no. are you just observing? I'm mostly observing. Sometimes I take on a body to mm -hmm. more be able to experience the feelings and emotions, uh, and how it feels to have a body in that in that place and, and situation. Mm -hmm. So, what are you doing now? What are you reporting on now to Source? Uh, uh, when I am at Source, I am I'm only energy, only, and um, I am reporting from that place that it's so beautiful and nice, and they live in harmony. They honor the earth and honor what the earth is giving. Uh, fruits and greens and uh, but um, there also seems to be lack of something mm -hmm. some it's it feels that they are not communicating so much they are not laughing uh, but maybe that it's not anything negative maybe it's just that it's so maybe they communicate uh, telepathically where is this place that you just came from does this place have a name Ven Ventura Ventura is it the planet hmm is it the planet yes it's the planet mm -hmm. And uh, it's a small planet. Mm -hmm. It's not such a big planet. But it's beautiful mm -hmm. because it has also the uh, oceans and trees and uh, it feels it feels isolated, maybe by intention, not to be interfered with. Mm -hmm could be that. Um. So what are you drawn to do now? Have you received more information from Source as to what you need, do you need to do next? Yes, it's kind of I'm on my way. Uh, it's going fast. Mm -hmm. It's it's like I'm, I am a meteorite um, What's the word? Lots of meteorites flowing through the universe. Mm -hmm. Is it like the matrix? Like numbers? No. It's kind of... Um, mm. What does it look like? Maybe it's, it's light. It feels like mo more than small rocks, more stones ah. or... Uh, a lot of debris in the sky? Yeah. Okay. Very high speed. 
Do you have a body while you're doing this? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. So where are you going to? Very far out in some universe. Um, I don't actually like where I'm going now. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling a bit um, shaken. Mm -hmm. Not scared, but it's like a, it was nice to visit Ventura, but this is not. This is more going into a black hole or some dark mm -hmm. area. Um, feel tense in this body I have now, even if I don't have a body where I, when I. Mm -hmm. uh, but I actually cannot see so much more than. the universe. Mm -hmm. So use your senses now. Use your senses to guide you. I'm turning left. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more bright there. Uh, it's a lot of stars. Mm -hmm. Can you communicate with the stars telepathically? Yes, they are sending light codes. Light codes? Hmm. Uh, almost kind of a Morse... Like a Morse code? Morse codes, yes, they are, yeah. But it's light. But it's uh, light. Mm -hmm. So when the stars flash, mm -hmm. it's a code? Yes, hmm. yes, yes! Wow! So what is our... What are this, the code saying? Ah. Go ahead and connect, and you will know the message. Ah. Hmm. So what are you telling me? What information are you giving me? <coughs> we are... We are um, observing you. We are... Sending uh, codes and messages and lights all the time. You don't actually yet understand them, but just receive them, and when the time is right, you will remember and know how to use the codes. Hmm. Are all of the stars sending these codes? No. Which ones? There's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. But not every star. Okay. And uh, that is why Lena l loves to look at the stars and wondering why they are kind of blinking and she's trying to communicate with them but she not actually understands the communication but she feels mm -hmm. that she has a connection. Can we open up the conne connection now? Uh, uh, yeah, maybe we can. Good. So let's see where, where we go now. Where are we heading to? Uh, closer to, to a star. Mm -hmm. uh, Um, the star is absolutely a living being. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you feel that it has either male or female energy? Uh, female. Mm -hmm. uh, very loving energy. Uh, it's communicating that it's very important messages. It's very, very important messages. What <sighs> message does this star have today? So, what message do you have for me? What, what can I receive? 
it's um, it's more of uh, an energy implanted in in Lena's body. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm. What is Lena receiving in her body? It's an energy of uh, it's an energy of uh, oh. Ah. Ah. Mm. It's ne definitely an energy that she has been missing, mm -hmm. that has not been in place. Uh, mm. What uh. is this energy doing to her? Mm. Uh, oh, oh. I think it's releasing tension and maybe old stored uh, restrictions, uh, limitations. Um, mm, it's releasing things. Uh, uh, that thing, energies that doesn't belong to her. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> what kind of energy has she picked up that don't belong to her? <sighs> she thought that he, she could um, carry burdens for other people, mm -hmm. taking on their pain, uh, uh, and also save lives by sacrificing herself uh. as these energies are released where yeah, are they going? where are they going? Mm -hmm. let's send them down to Gaia for healing yeah <sighs> Star says it's going to continue, mm -hmm. but we can. We don't need to bother about that. We can talk about other things okay. while she's continuing. Very good. Well, she wants to know the reason why she's here on Earth. Why did she come here? For what purpose? Uh, mm, be a part of source mm -hmm. but I mean everybody's part of source so there must be something else uh, so let's ask her highest source within her let's not uh, ask the ego why she's here let's ask the highest part so let me speak with the higher self the higher self is connected with source yes why is Liana here you showed her as an observer for Source and other planets. Is she observing planet Earth in this incarnation? Yes, she's partly observing what's happening on Earth. Mm -hmm. She also has the purpose to to crea create a shift uh, in energies, mm -hmm. uh, to spread light, uh, influence uh, people. Um, uh, she took on a, a very big task, and um, 
uh, 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 but she doesn't remember exactly how to She doesn't exactly remember how to be the light mm -hmm. that could uh, uh, speed up the speed up the energies and speed up the changes and shifts that needs to happen to Earth. Mm -hmm. uh, what needs to happen to Earth? There needs to happen a, a shift in consciousness in in uh, people. Mm -hmm. um, the earth is um, the earth is. Um, she's not exact, exactly suffering because she's very self. Uh, not sustain. She's. Um, the earth can take care of herself. Okay. So it's not that she's suffering so much as Lena has thought, mm -hmm. but she's she's pissed off. She really wants to take the bags of her mm -hmm. surface if they don't shift the consciousness and start to take care of each other and and uh, care more, give more attention to, to that she's a living being and then she provides all of the humanity with uh, whatever they need and they, they don't thank her for that. Mm -hmm. They are destroying her and um, maybe she doesn't take that any, not so much longer. Uh, so how can the Anna be? have more contribution, do more for Mother Earth, for humanity. Uh, that's, that's... Is that the energy? <sighs> she's, um... There's something missing that she, so she, so she doesn't understand how to do it. It's kind of she has been ripped off the potential mm -hmm. from some dark forces that really didn't want her to be able to create what sh she was supposed to do. That's why she feels so lost and mm -hmm. she's so sad because she's feeling that she can, she's absolutely helpless, she cannot. Well, mm. What special gifts did she come with? <sighs> Uh, she came with kind of a goddess energy. Goddess energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She could. She could heal. She could just change energies by focusing on them. Mm -hmm. She could. Uh, but. Uh, mm -hmm. She never had a chance to um, experience how to do it because she's, she was limited immediately. Mm -hmm. And I, I think she was kind of... Uh, uh, Not a walk in, but I don't know. It was, it was she was. Part of her was was taken away immediately mm -hmm. after birth, so she was very limited, and that's why what's causing her body to not being well mm -hmm. from the beginning because it's created such an imbalance in in the energies in her body. And and she immediately started to feel that she was worthless because she was ripped off. Mm -hmm. Can we find out 
when she was ripped off and by whom? Can you take her back? Let's go back in time. Be in the moment of now when she was taken advantage of and she was ripped off. Be there now. How old are you? Around one year. Let's, watch, let's find out what's happening there. I want you to see yourself with all of your senses, being able to see through the veil, and let's see what's happening. Oh. What happens? It's just coming a very dark energy. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what that energy is. Where is it coming from? <laughs> Are you the dark ah! It seems to me you're not very happy. Ah! <laughs> well, we can help you if you're not very happy. Ah! Would you like me to help you today? Oh! Yes! Okay. Well, you don't have to yell. I could hear you. you oh! What, what's bothering you so much? What hurts you so much? I'm burning. You're burning. I'm burning. Okay, I'm going to throw some ice on top ah. of you. Feel the ice all over you. Feel that ice. Feel the ice. Feel that beautiful ice all over you. There you go. Do you feel that sensation of ice? Yeah. Ah. Now we can talk. Now we can talk. Yes. Are you male or female? Male. Male. Can you tell me your name, please? Isaac. Isaac. How old are you, Isaac? Old. Old? A thousand old. years. A thousand years. So, Isaac. Yeah. What year is it for you? Where are you? Year. Yes. Are you in a year? <sighs> Hundreds of thousands of years away from now. Okay. So where is it, Isaac, that you are, that you were burning so much? You're not burning now. You have ice all over you. <coughs> What's going on, Isaac? <coughs> I have smoke in my lungs and I have smoke in my throat. Let's find out. I'm going to touch your shoulder, Isaac, and you'll feel better. Feel that? You'll be feeling better, Isaac. There you go. Isaac, why do you have this burning and the smoke in your lungs? Uh, what happened to you? I was locked into to uh, in, in a mountain or something, mm -hmm. and, and was this like a volcano? Uh, or was it yeah. fire? Yeah, yeah, it might be that. Uh, what happened to you, Isaac? Did the volcano or something burn? I was locked in there by by someone. Yeah. Entities. Let's so, find out. So. Let's find out a little bit about that, Isaac. Tell me the story. What happened to you? I was the good guy. Yes. Oh, I was the good guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, you can tell me about it. What were you doing? I was healing mm -hmm. healing a planet. You were healing a planet. Where did you come from, Isaac? Uh, I came from source. Mm-hmm. I was sent to heal a planet. Yes. And there came intruders that wanted to rob the planet from mm -hmm. uh, minerals, I think. Yes. And I tried to stand against them, mm -hmm. protect the planet. But I mean, it was it was just impossible. What did they? Well, first of all, how you were healing the planet? Were you using energy? Just the energy. Energy. Did you have a body at that time, Isaac? Mm, kind of a light body. A light body. Yeah. So these beings, these entities that locked you up, where did they lock you? It was kind of a cave or mm -hmm. something in 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 the mountain. Mm -hmm. They they closed it. I I don't exactly know how they closed it. I think they had just they were able to get the minerals to to be fluid and then and then close up the mountain mm -hmm. so I said how did you get out of that mountain and find Liana how did you find her 
How did you get out? Because, oh, how did I get out? Mm -hmm. After you... I left that kind of a light body that was... Or... Wow. What happened? I'm in there now. It's burning. I, it must have been more than a light body because mm -hmm. I had lungs and I have a throat. So mm -hmm. take a look at yourself. What do you look like? <coughs> yeah, I'm a young mm -hmm. man. You're a young man. And how did you heal? What did you use for healing? Ah, I could draw energy from source mm -hmm. into my hands yes and spread it and I could spread it so far so so far not mm -hmm. all over the, that planet I had to travel <coughs> around the planet but I could spread it really far mm -hmm. and um, it was so delightful it was such a joy mm -hmm. so Isaac how do you know the soul of Liana you know her. She's she's my sister. Mm. <laughs> been hurting her. You've been hurting your sister? Yeah. Why have you hurt your sister? By because I was transformed to this ugly energy mm. in that fire and I wanted to be with my sister and I didn't understand that I was taking all her power away. Mm -hmm. We had the same kind of power and I wanted to be in contact with that power. Mm -hmm. So what have you been doing to Liana all this time? What have you done to her since she was a baby? <sighs> I didn't understand that I that I was blocking her power. I just wanted to be close to her, mm -hmm. so I've been been with her and by with my darkness and bitterness and I blocked her because I I mean you saw my face when we connected, how angry mm -hmm. I was, and how... But you're not really that person, are you? No. You're actually very loving, aren't you? Yes. Isaac, I think you've forgotten who you really are. Yes, yes, Would yes. Would you like for, for me to help you remember? Yes, please. All right. So, Isaac, inside of you, there's a little spark of light. This is the light of source. Connect with that light again. <sighs> and let's make that light shine bright. And feel it getting as big as your whole body. How does that feel to be connected again? Acknowledging source once again. How does that feel, Isaac? Feels so good. Mm -hmm. Keep making it bigger and bigger. Make yourself as big as a star. Feel your power. Feel that love, the connection directly from Source. Yes. Now, Isaac, do we need to be attached to your sister anymore? No. 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 So what would you like to tell Liana? about what you've been doing to her all these years, making her angry. I'm sorry. I didn't... I didn't realize I didn't understand what I was doing. I, saw, I just wanted to be with you. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to s feel your light. Mm, but you... Your. You snuffed out her light, didn't you? Yes, mm -hmm. I did. I did. Yeah. I, maybe I thought I could have mine back. Mm -hmm. Now you have yours back, don't yes, you? Yes, yes. Very good. So take a deep breath in. Leanna, what would you like to tell Isaac, your brother? Oh, I forgive you. I forgive you, and I'm so happy that you have your light back mm -hmm. and the connection to Source. Very good. So now take a deep breath in, Isaac. Now that you 
have gotten that light back, I'd like for you to travel in time and go back to that moment when they trapped you and go ahead and begin <laughs> healing. Heal that body. Heal that body with that light. Send all of that light into that body. Feel what it feels like to be whole again. Yes. Yes, he's, he's all right again. Mm -hmm. So now you can use that same light from Source to help your sister. Oh. Send your light into her and fill her with that love from yourself, from Source. Feel it going through her whole body. What does it feel like to be able to finally have your powers back and give her or hers? It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So Isaac, are you ready to go back home again so that you can get your new orders? I'm yes, sorry. I love to. Very good. So go ahead and go up through the top of her head right here. Bye bye. Bye bye. And go ahead and follow that light directly. See you. See you sometime. Very good. May the light of the universe always accompany you, Isaac. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. Very good. So now take a deep breath in and let me speak to the higher self. So now that we have discovered that Isaac was there taking her powers. How do you see the life of Liana now? Uh, I think she needs some adjusting time. Mm -hmm. And it could be some uh, <coughs> separation feelings and some uh, Yeah, some adjusting time. She doesn't really, she's not really going to know in the beginning. Will she feel sad, like as if she's lost something? Uh, Will she feel no, sad? not sad for over loss, but more, hmm, how do I navigate now? Mm, without that influence? Yes, and how do I... Uh, yes, probably she will feel like kind of a new person mm -hmm. that doesn't really know <laughs> who she is. Okay, so she's going to need <coughs> some guidance from you? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. She wanted to know if she has a strong connection to her higher self. Yes. She does. Yes. So how can it be even clearer and stronger? Uh, I think when Isaac is gone, it will it will be more easier for her to uh, to connect and to more easily get clear guidance mm -hmm. and I can guide her how to start to use her uh, healing powers mm -hmm. and um, um, more guide her s and she will easily hear the guidance and, and, and be able to follow the guidance easier now when Isaac is, is uh, in the light. Good. <coughs> now, does she have these superpowers that you can identify? Or is she going to just be trying a little bit of this and a little bit of that? Uh, I think she's, she will continue to try <laughs> things. <laughs> she gets easily bored. Yes, Why is yes. That? Why does she get so bored um, so quickly? She's just uh, such a curious soul mm -hmm. that she wants to know it all. Mm -hmm. She wants to have it all, and she wants to be able to do it all. And and um, she's really fast in her in her energy. And and um, so probably she will continue to seek things out. <coughs> and um, um, let me see if there is 
some guidance of specific skills and and uh, gifts. Uh, oh, she could be such a. Maybe now, when she's more free, she she will be more gentle, more. Without Isaac, you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was uh, he making her angry? Yeah, and a bit. Um, a bit rough. Rough with people mm -hmm. and rough in communication, mm -hmm. in expression, and uh, intolerant. Mm -hmm. And maybe the impatience was coming from Isaac also. Maybe mm -hmm. she could be more patient with people and with herself mm -hmm. foremost and not. Um, um, and it would be be good for her to know what <coughs> what skill to develop and what gift to she doesn't like to hear this but it's actually just for her to <coughs> to be to be Nobody likes to hear that one. No. She de definitely don't that like that. <coughs> mm -hmm. Can you tell her what's causing all of that coughing? <coughs> is that another entity? <coughs> yes. Where is this entity? May I speak with it, please? All right, I'm going to bring it up, 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 up. <coughs> You can speak now. You don't have to cough anymore. I've got... You've got my attention. Are you male or female? Female. Female. What is your name, please? Magda. Magda. Where were you hiding Magda? In the neck and in the throat. Mm -hmm. Magda, how old are you? Uh, 97. 97. And what year is it for you, Magda? Uh... 1887. 1887. Magda, how did you die? Uh, oh. I was burned like uh, as a witch. You were burned as a witch. Mm -hmm. In 1887. I think so. I don't. I, uh, mm. What? Yeah. Um, I don't know what year it was. Okay. What did they accuse you of? Healing powers. Healing powers. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And who, who burned you? Priests. Priests. Yeah. So what happened after they burned you, Magda? Where did you go? Uh, I went into different kind of humans. Mm -hmm. Sometimes actually animals. Mm -hmm. What were you looking for? Uh, a being that, from um, a being that I could uh, use my healing power mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. Have you been successful? No. No. It doesn't work like that. But I didn't understand that. Do you understand that? Yes. No? So yes. what have you been causing her all this time? Have you uh, been making her cough? Yeah. But she does a lot of smoking. Did you smoke, Magda? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you make her do? Uh, I make her smoke and I make her... Um, um, I make her uh, I make her lazy lazy mm -hmm. in the form of that she doesn't want to exercise mm -hmm. or I want her just to be 
to hide at home. To hide at home. Why? Yeah. Why would she? Why would you want her to hide? At because home? then she, they cannot burn her as a witch. Ah. If she hides, mm -hmm. she's safe. I see. Yeah. It seems to me you're still running away and hiding, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Are of you course. scared? Yes. Well, it seems to me, Magda, uh. that. If you would have gone home, ah. if you would have gone home to the light, yeah. you wouldn't be hiding anymore. Exactly. Uh, Why did you find... There was no one to guide me, there was ah. no one out. It was so painful to die that way, mm -hmm. it was so shameful. I could not, I could not fulfill my pur pur purpose that I was sent from Creator to do. I was ashamed. I was mm -hmm. so ashamed. So are you ready to meet the Creator again so that you can <sighs> be able to fulfill your promise? Do your powers? Yes. With your own body? Yes. All right. So Magda, look inside of you. Look inside of your being and find that light. <sighs> Make it bigger. Feel it as it expands. Feel that peace and love that you feel from the Creator directly. Yeah. How does that feel? Good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that you are feeling good and connected to the Creator, Magda, can you see those people who burned you, that they didn't know what they were doing? They were just afraid. They were afraid of things they didn't understand. Yes. You knew so much. Yes. You came here to teach and to heal. Mm. And they were just ignorant. Yes. Can you see how maybe you've been influencing this woman here, Liana, with some of your ideas? Yes. Mm hmm Can you forgive yourself for that? Yes. Mm hmm so, Magda, I'm going to put my hand on your chest. You give me all of that pain and sorrow that you've been feeling all of this time, knowing that you failed, but you didn't fail. You did what you could, even if it's a small amount of time, because even one healing was worth it, wasn't it? Yes. Even one person that you saved was worth it. So feel it all coming out and allow me to send it to the universe. Tell me when I have it all. Yes. Alright, so I'm going to take that and send it to the universe. Magda, what would you like to put in its spot? Love. Let's put lots of love. love. Feel love. that hose, fire hose of love going in as it goes through your entire being. Feel your own self-love as you connect with the Creator and build yourself oh. from the inside up. That's right. And I'm going to seal it and not let it go out. Oh. Now, Magda, now that you feel that love of the Creator and love for yourself, what would you like to tell Liana about all what you've been causing her all this time? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. To take a deep breath in, Liana, what would you like to tell Magda? Do you forgive her? Absolutely, I forgive you. Very good. So now, Magda, I'd like for you to shine that beautiful light from the Creator into all of that area where you were attached to. And as you pull out your influence, send in that light. Allow it to heal. And tell me when you're done. How does that feel, Magda? It feels good. Good. So, Magda, go ahead. Leave from the top of her head. And Archangel Michael is there. Oh. I've asked him to help send you home. Oh, thank you. He's going to take you by your hand and take you straight up to Creator. Yeah, I feel that, thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And now I'd like to ask 
for Archangel Raphael to present himself and begin sending his emerald green light into the area where Isaac and Magda were influencing Liana. Feel that green light <sighs> healing it from within. And as Archangel Raphael continues to heal, I'd like to ask the higher self, how does that going to help now? Now that we have Magda on her way. It can <coughs> help me not to not have that much trouble with her throat and coughing and mm -hmm. and uh, maybe quit smoking if she's a bit more determined to really do that mm -hmm. and um, uh, it w actually might also uh, create that is losing some weight. Mm -hmm. uh, Magda was also blocking around her solar plexus and mm -hmm. who was blocking that? Well, it's not Magda. That was not Magda. There is. Uh, is there another one? Yeah. Where is it? Around the solar plexus. Okay, would you allow me to speak with that one today? Let's bring it up. up, 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 up. There you go. And you can now express yourself, are you male or female? Hi. Uh, male or female? Female. Female. What is your name, please? Do I have a name? I don't know. Uh -huh. Have you ever had a body before? Or no. did Liana create you? Yeah. She created you? Yeah. Ah, what did she create you for? Protection. Protection? Yeah. Okay. So tell me something about that protection. What was she protecting herself from? From feeling. From feeling? Yep. Why did she want to protect herself from feeling? Feeling. She's. <coughs> well, she's um, uh, she's so sensitive. Mm -hmm. She feels so much, and she was kind of she um, she couldn't handle it anymore. Mm -hmm. The feelings were so strong. There was so much emotions, and so she could feel the pain in other people and, and especially feel the pain in, 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 in animals. Uh, she couldn't handle it anymore, so she created protection. How old was she when she created Six. It? Six years old. Mm. Feel that love exchanged amongst yourselves as we now have healed that little girl. Very good. Now take a deep breath in and let me speak now with the higher self and tell me how that little girl now feels about releasing all of that extra weight around her, all of that extra protection. Does she need to have that anymore? No, of no. course not. So can we begin releasing it now, please? Yeah. All right. So go ahead and begin using whatever it is that you use to begin releasing that from me. Fearing that from her, she asks, what are her biggest fears, the hidden fears that are holding her back? That's cleared. That's cleared. Very good. Thank you so much. And then she asks about her career. She wants to have the life that she wants with financial freedom. 
she wants to know if she should focus mostly on her painting or to inform about ASEA, Redox, or something else. <sighs> what would be the best for her? Actually, she can choose whatever feels most fun for her. Mm -hmm. Can she do it all? Yes. Mm -hmm. And can I think, mm -hmm. yeah, ask the question. She can make money out of this? Have yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. She doesn't think so, but she can absolutely do that. Mm -hmm. Paintings will probably be more for fun. Yes. But she probably will have easier to communi communicate with mm -hmm. people and be not so... Uh, stressful and uh, I cannot actually see right now that she has another career mm -hmm. uh, but that can show up in the future okay now does she what does she need to do to change or heal this financial thing that she's going through she I think that she, um, uh, by releasing Isaac and Magda, that could change mm -hmm. things. Were they making her angry about losing all this money? Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. Any more information about her career or her finances that you have? I know that she w she hopes for some very concrete and very like she doesn't need to. Uh, how to say it to mm, manage so much by herself just by uh, people asking her for information or people coming to her she really would like to have something that people <coughs> are so attracted of that they come to her mm -hmm. she doesn't like to go out and uh, seek after people to inform or to so but uh, that's what she, she wants but I I'm really not sure well, what she's, she's going to open up for okay is it up to her whatever she has she finds to be fun yeah mm -hmm. she can actually choose whatever she wants Okay, okay. Because she does get bored. Yeah. Okay. Is that how she is? Yeah. Okay. Now, she came here for a specific reason to use her powers. Is her powers just me? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's enough mm -hmm. that she just be on earth with her energy okay. but if she wants to create more of course she can uh, she can uh, oh, the English word uh, uh, we can name it develop more of, of her power and skills and if she wants to f she can choose what to, to focus if she wants to be a verbal channel okay she can be that if she focus her energy she can be a channel for source by painting mm -hmm. or by healing with her hands mm -hmm. she she just need to perhaps more decide what she really wants okay now relationships with other people she has a tendency to make herself small was that her inner child that was sabotaging it yes mm -hmm. it was that mm -hmm. so uh, it looks like she's going to be much more
just being yourself much more, mm -hmm. not have uh, the need to hide or play small or mm -hmm. if she's just being herself, mm -hmm. everything will be fine. Well, it seems to me that Magda always wanted her to hide. Yeah, and made made her voice <coughs> crack mm -hmm. when she was trying to speak. Yeah. <coughs> So, so is she going to have clear communication now and sharing information? For me, it looks like it's going to be much easier for her. Okay. Mm. So, can I ask anyway on her behalf for a guide that will help her with that? Yes. Okay. So, I'd like to ask for Archangel Gabriel, the messenger, mm -hmm. to please take charge of this and bring in the guides and angels that will help her as far as communication is concerned. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. And now, I'd like for you to do a scan on her body. Mm -hmm. We had found some entities before, and we have found a thought form. Mm -hmm. How does that thought form look now? It's, um, it's only light there. All right. So let's so. continue to transform it, send the beautiful healing light. What light would you like to use to begin to transform that thought form into something else? What would you, what color would you like to use and what would you like it to transform? A into? golden light. Alright, so what new thing would you like to charge it with? What new role would you like to charge it with? Uh, power. Alright, so go ahead and begin putting that golden light into that solar plexus area where that thought form was residing and feel the energizing, feel the power as it begins to spread through your body. The power that you have to transform yourself and others as you emit this beautiful energy to the world. You tell me when that's done. It's done. Good, thank you. So as you scan her body, what have you found that we need to work on today? Uh, it looks like everything is clear. Good. Her ears, her throat, her eyes. Were those issues or were they the energies that were affecting her? Um, looks like it was mostly the energies that it, it was kind of time to clear. Yeah. So that was symptoms from this energy raising up. Okay. There will still be some remnants of some adjustments, and but there is nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to take any actions from. Okay, just be. Yeah, and also she's kind of the ears is the ears is actually. The ears is actually for her adjusting to receive messages. Okay, so it's like a receiver? Yeah, mm -hmm. the ears are... Um, yeah, it's kind of adjusting to, to receive uh, messages. Okay, what about the throat? Was that Magda? The throat was Magna. Mm -hmm. The eyes? Uh, the eyes... Eyes. Uh, what's going on with the eyes? Mm. Take a look and see what she doesn't want to see. What is she closing her eyes to? Oh. <sighs> What 
as the, it's definitely something that she doesn't want to see. So she was talking about Sweden. She was worried. Oh yeah, okay. She doesn't want to see what's. She doesn't want to see what's going on in Sweden, and she doesn't want to see what's going on in in the world now. Mm -hmm. When she has been traveling, the ice has been really. Uh, messy and she doesn't want to see the all those people totally unconscious people and um, controlling people like the security on the f mm -hmm. airports and, and people eating unhealthy f yeah she d she's so tired of this she's actually so tired she doesn't want to be here anymore she She's so tired. So what do you have to tell her <sighs> about being so tired? Didn't she come here on this mission? Yeah, she knows that, but it kind of feels... Hmm. So she feels that she hasn't been able to fulfill her mission? Well, now she knows why. She yeah. Had, she had her brother, Isaac. Yeah. And Magda acting like an ogre. <laughs> he was and really he was pretty angry. angry and ugly. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, that feeling very tired was before Magda and his Isaac was relieved. Mm -hmm. Relieved, re yeah. Yes. Mm. It she. Um, She's still annoyed about to have to look at all this, mm -hmm. but... Now I want to remind her that when she feels annoyed, she's focusing on the negative. Yeah. She's lowering her vibration. She's doing the same thing that she did as a child, bringing in all of okay. that pain of the world. Does she need to continue this habit? of not wanting to see, of wanting to protect herself from all of this ugliness, all of this misbehaving? Or can she just begin to transmit source and keep her energy high? Because what she focuses on expands. It expands. She knows that. Mm -hmm. And I, ho I hope it was Magda and Isaac that kept her in mm -hmm. the negativity yes. because she knows what she focuses on is what she's going to see and mm -hmm. uh, so let's see if... Can I ask for a guide yes. for her? Yes. I will slap her upside the head when she starts being negative <laughs> yes. and judging yes. and remind her that we are all one, that we all deserve to be loved. Yes. And to see people for who they really are. They yeah. are children of God. Yeah. Mm hmm. Very good. Do you see anything else in her body? She have had so much trouble with her neck, but uh, that's where Magda was. Magda was there, and there has also been taken away a lot of other stuff that mm -hmm. was put into her to to keep her to mm -hmm. keep her um, power away and so on. So, so I think the neck is going to be much much mm -hmm. better. Good. So now, can I ask now for the violet flame of Saint Germain? Yeah. Begin burning away any of negativity left there, cutting away any cords that are attaching her to anything else. Yes. Go through that that whole body with that violet flame. Yeah. And let's cut through anything that is still holding her down. Yes. You want her flying high today. Yeah. Very good. And now, I'd like to ask Liana to make yourself really tiny, 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 and slip yourself down into your mouth, down into your throat, and let's take a look at those lungs. What do those lungs look like? What color 
Are those lungs after all the smoking? Yeah, they are a bit too dark. Mm -hmm. What color should they be? What color do you think? Kind, kind of a... Uh, um, not white, but much, much lighter. Mm -hmm. uh, so what color do they see them? Are they that color? Or something darker? They are a bit dark. It's not... They are not very, very dark. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if there are some darker spots or... It kind of looks like that when Magda is gone, mm -hmm. there has happened so much with the lungs mm -hmm. already. So let's use something, let's use a tool yeah. to begin cleaning up those lungs. Yes, let's make please. them as pure as when you were born. Yes, so please. What would you like to use? You can use water, you can use light. What would you like to use to get those lungs nice and clean? Air. Very good. So let's go in there and start using that air. See as they transform into that beautiful light whitish lungs. Tell me what's happening as you breathe in that air. A lot of uh, unwanted stuff is loosening up and... Wonderful. So I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to go ahead and as that stuff is loosening up, begin to vacuum it out. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Allow it to flow. Tell me when it's completely cleaned up. Yes. Very good. So now how do your lungs feel? Very good. Very good. So Bigger. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And as you breathe cleanly, I'd like to ask the, se the higher self, is there anything else that I could have asked, Liana, that I didn't ask that you would like to tell her today? What message would you like to give her? She's complete. She's complete. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. What a journey. Yeah, what a journey. Wow. Did you expect this? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> really not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> How do you feel? You look very happy. Yeah, it feels great. It feels absolutely How great. How does your body feel? Much lighter and, and not so tense than... Ah. So, how long do you feel that you are on this journey? Uh, about an hour. We're in an hour and a half. Yeah. You did great. Fantastic work. Thank you. You did great. You did it fantastic <laughs> work. Yeah, but it was easy when, with your voice and your questions, and you were so intuitive to what question to ask uh, the next time and, and then it was easy to, uh, to follow and to... So how do you think this is going to change you? I hope 
for big time. But, but well, you can't hope. You have to know. Yeah. Because uh, you're is, creating your life. Yeah. Yeah. So is this something that you want to share or you want to keep private? I can share. We can take out some personal yeah. stuff. Yeah. If there, I don't remember if there is something <laughs> very personal, but but it, it's absolutely... I mean, if, if somebody can can um, benefit from the information mm -hmm. good you are absolutely free to use it and it was just incredible too good <laughs> we did it thank <laughs> you thank you thank you alma you're welcome i'm so impressed so tell everybody where you're from i'm from sweden sweden mm -hmm. so i traveled to arizona <laughs> to meet alba we're here in phoenix yeah yeah and uh it was uh, such a strong calling, so it just had to be mm -hmm. that we met. So, mm. what were you expecting from this session? I, I, uh, I really was determined to have any expectations. Mm -hmm. So, I came with an open mind, a, a little bit nervous that I, that I would, uh, that my mind would take control. Yeah, well, you have been hypnotized before, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. what was the difference between this? This, this? It was a big difference because this time I really felt that my mind was not in, co in control. The ego was mm -hmm. not there. It was really uh, other energies, my higher self, and other yeah. energies coming through with yeah. the information. And so, it was. N it's. N I have no doubt. <laughs> Absolutely no doubt. Alba is absolutely amazing. Just to follow her voice and everything happens. <laughs> and I'm so happy. <laughs> so we had quite a bit of a startle there with Isaac. Yeah, yeah. How did that wow, feel? Wow, he was so angry. Yeah. And, and yeah. Uh, How did I was, that feel? I was depressed and I, I, I saw him. I saw him. He was so ugly. He was so angry. And, and But I can understand why he was it. I, I understand yeah. it. So, and I'm totally forgive him <laughs> absolutely do you feel like you feel lighter now do you, do you feel lighter or yeah yes i do i feel lighter and there's going to be an adjustment period your, your yeah. higher self says you're going to have to adjust yeah i think so because mm -hmm. now i have to be used to to only my energy right right mm -hmm. and that's what happens when they take when we take entities from you you've been used to this other other re you know beings that mm -hmm. are controlling you that when they're gone it's like well who am i yeah yeah you have to adjust yeah, yeah. it's but almost the, like it's, it's almost like there's something empty mm -hmm. there like okay but there's I, I no voices now exactly and i think it's going to be uh, feels like a relief adjustment it's it's not going to be any hard thing it's yeah. just kind of yeah wow could i be that gentle <laughs> could i be that nice <laughs> <laughs> I, to, yeah tolerate people that easily yeah. i that's what i i think it's going to be um and magda was uh, interesting also Ooh, yeah um, um burned as a witch yeah. i think i remember and and try to hold me back yeah. so i wouldn't hide. be burned hide right. me hide so i understand what i built this fence around my farm mm -hmm. and i stay behind the the, the gate for now, weeks sometimes now you, understand. Mm -hmm. now you understand. understand so that was also interesting and and the protection i have felt that i have really put on i mean i have put yeah. on some and weight you, and now but you there understand was, now you mm, understand why why it's not going has not gone away how yeah. I, I have tried so and i am um, yeah, and this with taking on my mother's uh, pain, it was so, I mean, it's, uh, it feels, yes, of course, I, I, I knew this, but, uh, but, uh, but I didn't know it. So right. I knew it, but I didn't know it. Right. Mm -hmm. So do you recommend this? Uh? Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's worth going around the globe to come to Alba. <laughs> A long way. And I, I wish we will have her in Sweden. Uh, yeah, I pray for that. I pray for that. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I'm. I'm so. right. We're right now planning, and uh, I do travel all around the world. If you want to uh, get a hold of me, go to albawyman.com. That's um, my assistant. Will be happy to to help you out. We're right now in the process of taking our entire mailing list, which is way over four thousand people oh. at this time. And we're going. We're seeing where everybody's located, so we can see where I'm going to next. So, if you want to s sign up for this newsletter, go to the Out of Town page on albawyman.com, and then 
hopefully I'll get to see you sometime soon. So thank you for watching and thank you for thank coming. Thank you. Thank and you. I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Bye. Bye bye. And let me have that hand. I just want some.